Hey, Steven. I like that. I like that red guitar. Thanks. It's a Gibson. I like that. Lovely. The yeah, Gibson. Yeah, SG. that's the same guitar that uh, uh, Gary Clark Jr. plays. He I plays think so. Exactly. He, yeah. I think he plays an SG too. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful guitar. Thanks, man. Um, uh, tonight we've got. Uh, a couple of very fine actors. One of our, our dearest friends here at The Late Show, John Lithgow, is going to be out here. Yeah. Uh, and a man, Tony winner, amazing actor, uh, playing Willie Loman in the revival of Death of a Salesman on Broadway right now. Wendell Pierce is yeah. here. Just a tre treasure. Just a gem of a guy. Just a gem of a guy. Yeah. Folks. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like there's always news about former New York mayor and and scarecrow you made from stuff you found on Grandpa's nightstand. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy was the leaky face of the ex-president's attempt to overthrow the 2020 election. And now, according to testimony to the January 6th committee, we're learning he was visibly drunk and erratic on election night. Of course, Rudy refuted that, tweeting, I am disgusted and outraged at the outright lie, I refused all alcohol that evening. My favorite drink, Diet Pepsi. <laughs> Which is exactly what someone would say when they are completely hammered. <laughs> and thanks to his work with the former president, Rudy's now in a mess of legal trouble. The January 6th committee has issued subpoenas seeking other conspirators' communications with him. He's a target of the criminal investigation into election interference down in Georgia. And later this month, Lawyers in Washington will hold a hearing on stripping Rudy Giuliani of his D.C. law license, which... <laughs> which is the least upsetting combination of the words Rudy Giuliani and stripping. <laughs> Even worse for Rudy, the head of that hearing turned down his request to truncate the proceedings to allow him to host his daily radio show, even though, according to Rudy's team, it's currently his only source of income. But Rudy isn't letting his financial troubles keep him down. In fact, he was recently spotted partying in a Times Square bar. And I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. We're right here at the north end of Times Square. I just wish Rudy had checked in with me while he was here. And I'm being told that he's doing that right now. Please welcome to the Wait Late Show, the ex-president's ex-lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. Good evening. Good... Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Well, that's an outright lie. <laughs> what is? Whatever you said, I deny your allegations that I'm partying in Times Square while the feds close in. Well, I, I never made that accusation, but you are clearly in Times Square. Well, of course I am. It's where real New Yorkers go to eat real New York bubblegum shrimps <laughs> and, and watch the ball drop, drop every night on New York Eve. <clears throat> uh, that... <laughs> Start spreading. The new... Okay, so I, 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 I see you're still drinking wine. What? No! Outright lie! This is just my favorite drink, Diet Pepsi. <laughs> <sighs> Taste the rainbow. <laughs> okay, uh... Mr. Former Mayor, so I have to ask about your legal troubles. You are the target of multiple investigations into your efforts to overturn the 2020 election with wild conspiracy theories. That's just what they want you to think. In fact, I'm being pursued by an AI program on Hunter Biden's laptop <laughs> that secretly controls voting machines to elect President Liz Cheney, which is short for lizard person Cheney. <laughs> no, it's not. Mr. Mayor, making that kind of evidence-free allegation in the court is the reason that later this month you could quite possibly you lose your license to practice law. Outright law! Outright lie! I... <laughs> uh, no! Law! Lie! No! Law! Lie! I don't practice law. No rehearsals. I just get out there and improvise. <laughs> I'm a jazz attorney. Hit it, Lewis! <laughs> you <laughs> 
Diddly bop bop, do da da, stolen ballots. Diddly bop bop, da, martial law. That's enough. Thank you, Lewis. That was. I gotta I got say, that was actually pretty good. Well, uh, then don't forget to teach, Susan. Uh, I'm out here in Times Square dropping stat for cash. <laughs> also, sometimes I sing jazz. All right, Mr. Former Mayor, speaking of your finances, is it true that your only source of income is now your radio show? Outright lie. They're also true. That's why I'm proud to announce that this interview, like my radio show, is brought to you by MailChimp. You can't sell ad space on my show. <laughs> anyway, why would you be sponsored by the marketing platform MailChimp? No, 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 not that MailChimp. I'm talking about a MailChimp. <laughs> yeah. His name is Beans. <laughs> He's a chimpanzee at the Bronx Zoo. <laughs> Gives me 10% of his bananas in exchange for legal advice. <laughs> I, 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 I've, got, I've got to say, sir, it's hard to see the man who was once America's mayor fall so hard. You're under investigation, you're shilling on the radio, clearly drinking heavily. You do not seem well. How outright lie, Sharon. <laughs> I've, I've never been healthier. I just had my physical, and they said my liver was too big to fail. <laughs> Really, I really. <laughs> I don't, I don't, sir, I don't really think that that's the. It's true. Just ask my personal physician, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani, everybody. We'll be right back.